Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Well, four months ago, I sold my 2016 BMW M5. I wanted to bring a new car to the channel. Now, this new BMW will join alongside my 2008 BMW 335i, so this one is not going anywhere. Good news, after the four months of waiting, my new BMW is at the dealership right now, so let's go ahead and head up there now just so I can show you just what I bought. All right, let's go ahead and get this video started. waiting for uh, my ride to pick me up so I will just leave the 335i here pick up the new car at the BMW dealership and then drive the new car home The day has finally arrived, of course, after much anticipation, the new BMW that is here on the channel. Plenty of great DIY videos, plenty of modification videos to jump on that B58 bandwagon. It's a 2022 BMW M340i. So let me take you around the car right now. I'll show you all the options that I went with on this build. So of course, one mile on the odometer. All right, so it is black sapphire metallic. Uh, so it is X Drive. The first option that I went with was the shadow line package, which does the black mirrors. Down here in the front, that's black. Headlights within there, blacked out. And then the front kidney grills, that's also black. Uh, then of course, black around the back, around the exhaust tips, because those are usually chrome. I went with the cooling and high performance tire package. Gets you the 19 M wheels, so they're the 791 M performance with non run flat tires. So you get Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires all the way around, which is great. So 225, 40, 19s on the front, 255, 35, 19s on the rear. So it is a staggered setup, even though it's X Drive. So you get some additional engine cooling, uh, which is uh, great. Then you get upgraded and much bigger than the base uh, calipers and rotors. They look massive. If you see what the stock ones are, definitely notice when you're uh, checking out and looking at uh, other M340Is. Uh, then I also went with the uh, remote start. It's a $300 option, so that way you can get remote start on your BMW. So that's a very easy, of course, you know, inexpensive one to do definitely well worth it uh, you know because you want to have a remote start unfortunately you got to pay for that to add that on there but did that uh, then I also added the power lift gate so instead of the manual latch just do that and then just like any other traditional powered BMW trunk do that to close I went with the driver's assistance package, so you get the Active Driving Assistance Pro, Active Blind Spot, Lane Departure. Then I get the driver's assistance Pro package, which gives you the extended traffic jam assistance. So you got the little radar there in the front. Went with the laser headlight upgrade. You get the nice Corona lenses that go all the way to the top, laser light, uh, actual headlights which are bright, they look so good. And even if we're kind of limited in the US of the technology of laser light, just the look overall is definitely what you know changed me and why I wanted to go with what I went with. The biggest thing was to go with the B58TU. So you guys might remember the B58 really kind of showcased and the 340i, the TU, did some of course normal technical updates uh, that BMW does, but this thing is a power horse. The B58, just kind of like the N54, handles mods really well. Gonna have some fun with this one as far as you know what's to come, so definitely uh, keep an eye out for the videos. I actually have some parts waiting for me uh, in the garage, so that I am gonna be installing those. Let's go ahead and go inside for, show you the premium package. Get your heated steering wheel, 
heated um, front seats and gesture control, which is definitely really nice. Uh, getting used to all that. And then I went with the Harman Kardon upgrade as well. Also with the premium package, you get uh, the heads up display, which you can toggle through your different uh, menu options. Beautiful sound. I'm still trying to break it in, guys. The power is really nice. Everything about it, it's so refined. Obviously it's a new car and you know, it's supposed to feel like that, but it just feels so solid. I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with how great it feels around corners and just how smooth it is. It's, it's a nice change. Uh, and it, really the technology to say the least made my M5 look old. And then of course, compare it to my 335i, it's light years ahead. And guys, we are finally home. Having my 2022 BMW M340i xDrive alongside my 2008 BMW 335i. Sitting, of course, perfect in the garage. You no know, 2008 style and just everything what it was during that time period and then where BMW is today as far as 2022. But I mean, both of these, you know, of course, being three series, it's it's great to see the similarities still uh, with them. So really looking forward to, uh, you know, doing a nice comparison between the two. Well guys, that does it for today. You know, appreciate you, you know, stopping in, checking out the new car, uh, lots more DIYs to come on the M340i and of course the 335i as well. You know, appreciate all the support. Wouldn't be here without you. A uh, big thumbs up on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tons of content out there. I'm here to help you uh, by all means. That's the main point of my channel. Whatever I can do to save you guys some money by showing you some DIYs, things to look out for so that way you know you jump on the BMW platform and you have plenty of information. That's really my goal and it's what I'm here for you. So other than that, lots of great videos to come. So stay tuned and uh, we're just getting started. Have a great week and we'll chat with you here soon. Take care.